I
Oh, 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 okay. Let me just ask you something. I'll, I'll make it easy. Like yeah. I agreed to debate Chris. Yeah, from Speaker's Corner. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he starts mouthing off online and all that. Like, you know what? Forget you. Okay. Then I agreed to debate Bob. So well, this is about your ego. I don't know if you realise what you're saying is ego. Nothing's ego. Nothing's ego. I don't reward really 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 bad behaviour. Yeah. I don't reward really bad behaviour. Okay. Yeah, I've heard you say that. I, I, I repeat this consistently, and I am consistent with it, right? I, I was going to debate Bob on this. So you both had an answer today. What was his answer? What was his answer? No, no. What was his answer? 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 You said I had an answer. What was his answer? Yeah, you can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he didn't get an answer. He didn't get an answer. He didn't get an answer. I know it's a scary question. It's not scary at all. You can't even admit you trust Bob. Why would you trust Mohammed? Why would you trust Mohammed? Who wrote the Quran? Who trusts Bob? Mohammed didn't write the Quran. Why would you trust Mohammed? Why would you trust him? He couldn't read or write. Couldn't write his own name. Why would you trust him? Who wrote the Quran? Obsessed. See, knowledgeable Christians. Uh, okay, here we go again. We We're asking knowledgeable Christians about Paul. He wants to talk about Muhammad. Talk Always. about Paul, man. Always. This is why we don't speak to you, knowledgeable Christians, because they don't want to speak about Christianity. This is this is going to be awesome. Well, Hamza Paul was totally That's brilliant. brilliant. Kills so many perceptions, man. Hamza Paul was totally anti-Christ. You want to you answer the question? Well, I mean, my, I'll just give you, you my, my experience. You want to answer the question? I'll try and give you an answer. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, no, no, don't no, 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 rephrase the question. You give the no, question, no, no, let no, me no, answer no, the question. I'm going to ask you, do you trust me? I just want to tell you why people believe Paul. No, do you trust Paul? Do you trust yeah. Well, I'm not following the Bible. I'm not a scripture. I'm a Christian. Do you trust Paul? To some degree. Do you trust Paul? I believe Paul. Do you trust Paul? Paul, Paul? Yeah, can't let me answer it. By the way, I'm going to answer it. Oh, all right, yeah. that's fair. Let yeah. me answer the question. Oh, okay. No, you're now you're going to change. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. Hold on, hold on. We have to look. Promise you. We have to look at something. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change it. Do you trust Paul? I believe, I trust Paul's experience, experience that somebody who is so anti-Jesus and went up was on his on the road to Damascus to kill Christians on the authority of whoever has then had this experience that made him do a complete turnabout. Don't you trust Paul? On that respect, this I would trust Paul. Yeah. Why? Because he says that he, he's converted to Christianity where he, before he was thought the anti-Christ. Oh, oh, okay. So, so it doesn't, let, let, it doesn't make any sense not to. Okay. So your reason for trusting Paul yeah. is theological? Yeah. Yeah. My, I, would, I would look, if somebody changes their, their, their whole uh, foundation on something, when they were totally the opposite, that would be, I'd have to question why they've done that. So I would have to turn around and say. Okay. So let, let me understand your position. So I'm, 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 I don't want to misrepresent your position. Yeah. Tell me if I'm correct. Tell me if I'm Tell me if I've misunderstood your position. I think there's a lot of books about not only four. Just tell me if I've misunderstood your position. Okay. So you believe Paul is trustworthy. Because this was a man who was a zealous Pharisee, zealous for the law. Yeah. Persecuted the followers of Jesus, absolutely. and then on the road to Damascus, yeah. had this epiphany and this vision, yeah, and yeah, transformed yeah. his life from being a, a persecutor of the church yeah, to, to the a redeemer yeah. of the church. Yeah, I'm so Okay. No, no, no. Oh, so so this, no, is it a problem that, for you? Yeah, that's Would it be a problem yeah, yeah. for you yeah. if he was never a Pharisee in the first place? I don't know. They have to have to ask the wrong person. Would it be a problem? Yeah, but I don't. When you say Pharisee and all, okay, okay. You know, I don't if he, know. Okay. Okay, if, I, if I question, if I question the foundation of your position, so the foundation of your position is a zealous Jew, zealous for the law, persecuting the church, transformation, redeemer of the church. Yeah? But if this isn't true, will that cause a problem for you? So it's not true, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I don't know enough for scripture. Why do you? Okay, okay. Why do you believe he was a hardcore Pharisee persecutor? I don't know the history, but that's why I said to you, I don't know scripture like the way you would do it. That's why I say you're asking the wrong person. Okay. So I'm just talking If, if it could be demonstrated to you yeah. that he wasn't this hardcore Pharisee zealot persecuted the church, would that make you question your whole position? Yeah, you, so you make no response. I heard exactly what you said. I've just had a lot. I, I, I know. I'm not I didn't say. I, I, I didn't say. I didn't say. 
and I've, and I've just get, I've given you everything. You missed the word I said. Okay, I've given you what I said. You know what word you missed, I said? If I was the you judge, words, you know if, that. I, yeah, if I was the judge in a court, and took this situation came in front of me in a court, I would look at the no, no, no. evidence of the assignment you. of Brazilian to something else, and I would look at that as evidence. I'm asking you. I would look at that as evidence. Yeah, yeah. Accept but first You're thing. asking me whether I accept false no, evidence. No, 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 that's not right. No, no, no. You're in, a, you're in a court of law. Well, let's use your example. I don't mind. You, have I given you an outfit? <laughs> you're in a court of law. Don't give me no deference. You're going to court of law and we're judging this man for. And the judge is told that this man was a persecuting uh, Jew, uh, zealous for the law, attacking the blood of Jesus, and then he had this vision. And we see his life now, and that transformation could only be explained in one way that he, he did meet Jesus. Okay. So the judge hears this, right? Uh, I'm, I'm the prosecution about this, Your Honour. Right, okay, you're right here. Um, I'm not the defender. What's the evidence that Paul was persecuting uh, Pharisee and was persecuting the church? What's the evidence? But hold on, Hamza, if you go to the, new, the Natural History Museum, the Old Testament is practically, it's almost, it's a, the Old Testament is a historic document. Yeah, but the Old Testament is a historic document as opposed to a theological What's your oldest manuscript of the Old Testament? Huh? What's your oldest manuscripts of the Old Testament? I don't know, I, again, I wouldn't 